So in the pantry secret section of Evergreen Vietnamese, there is a recipe for Vietnamese caramel sauce. And if you prepare that well, you're going to become a baffo Vietnamese cook. It only takes three ingredients. It's super easy, but at the same time, people are like, I don't want to nearly burn sugar, but you're going to be able to do it. And this video is here to help. When you're making caramel sauce, one of the things that you want to be careful about is like, what kind of pan should you be using? I like to use a stainless steel pan because the light interior allows you to see inside what's going on. A dark one is not going to be as transparent. So what we're going to do is pour our water in and then that little bit of acid and then the sugar. And then crank up the heat to roughly medium and start stirring. At first, things will just seem like not much is going on, but that's all right. You want to be stirring to help dissolve the sugar. And, you know, this takes a few minutes or so. The sugar does not have to be totally clear. You just want it to be, you know, more or less close to there. And use something like a spatula like this, which has a very flat bottom so that you can really get into the corners and bottom of the saucepan. This is a um, one quart saucepan and I'm using that so that you can more visibly see inside. But you can use a taller one, but you wanna use like a smallish one. And this is a much larger burner than usual, so I actually have my heat on a little bit lower than medium. Um, so you always have to make those sorts of adjustments depending on what your stove is like um, at home. And so it's nearly dissolved. So at this point, I'm just gonna sort of leave it there so that it can kind of keep doing its business. So sometimes there are like these little crusty bits that you see forming on the walls. That's okay. You, know, you can kind of like just leave them alone unless they really start getting crusty and that's when you want to like deal with them. But otherwise, I just leave them be. Um, they will kind of melt off on their own. So as you can see, it is starting to turn clear. And again, you're like just letting it do its number for a few minutes um, and it will start changing color, going from like a champagne to a light tea color. So I know that my pan tends to heat up a little bit hotter over here just because the burner tends to be um, a little bit uneven. So I'm just going to swirl, you can see the color changing just to kind of move the sugar around. And if at any point you get concerned about um, the immense amount of smoke that may turn on, go ahead and turn the exhaust on. So we're getting champagne right now. And from champagne, we're going to progress towards a light tea color. And again, you can coax it, you can control the caramelization process by simply picking up the pan. There's like nothing, you know, overly dramatic or scary about this. You can do it. And there is some smoke coming out of there. So at this point, you definitely wanna have that exhaust going. And I've got it on low, so you can still hear me. So we're going to progress from champagne to tea, and then eventually to wine. I'm just gonna back up here so that you can see a little bit better. And there's smoke coming up, as you can see. So you wanna be very, very mindful at this point to see what's going on. It's now starting to caramelize a lot faster and deeper. And what we're going to be looking for is a kind of 
progression of pinot. I can like put it, keep it down here uh, on the burner and yes, it's going to get very, very hot very quickly or I can also slow it down by picking up the pan and swirling. The pan is very, very hot. I'm looking for a pinot. So think about those wines that you like to drink. I'm going for pinot, then I'm heading to Cabernet and it's very, very hot at this point. I, one of the things that I forgot to mention earlier to make sure that you have a pot of water nearby or a bowl of water or a sink half filled with water. And right now we are like really, really hot. All right, so I need to rest this. I'm going to put it right in here. where it is sizzling and cooling down very, very quickly in the pan. I'm gonna just turn off my burner at this point. And then once that the bubbling stops, I can go ahead and pour in a quarter cup of water. So after I pour it in that water, I'm going to return the caramel sauce to the burner, crank it up to roughly medium high. And all I'm going to do now is dilute it. It's still fairly hot and you're gonna feel that it's like really, really hard feeling at the bottom. And all you wanna do is work in some of the water that you just added so that that becomes something loose that then you can use later on. Because the caramel is hard, it's going to crystallize into practically a candy, hard candy if you left it the way it was. So you want to add a little bit of water at, the, at this stage so that it will stay fluid in your cupboard. going to turn off my exhaust so you can hear me a little bit better. And the color, as you can see at this point, is pretty damn handsome. It's like a reddish color. And that's what caramel sauce does. It's going, it, it imparts a beautiful mahogany red color to foods that you cook with it. And all you have to do is use like, you know, two, maybe three ingredients to put this together, ingredients that you have in your pantry to make a staple of the Vietnamese kitchen. So, the caramel warmed up. I'm just stirring the water into the caramel sauce until everything is nice and well diluted and blended together. Again, um, you know, just stir. The first time you do this is gonna be a little bit strange, but I hope this video helps you um, navigate the process of nearly burning sugar. But it's for good reasons. And once you do this, you know, you master caramel, I feel like you can do practically anything in the kitchen. There's still some caramel stuck on my hands. And and also on the spatula. So, just going to lower the heat. And keep stirring that. And you just, you know, bubble, let it bubble for like a minute or so. I was probably a little too aggressive at the front end. You didn't want to stir it and that's why I pay, I'm paying the price now um, with the caramel, but as you can see, it's also diluting and warming up and falling off the spatula. And once that it is a nice liquid state, you can, you know, what I like to do is really, really just quickly cool it so I put it back into the water just for about a minute. And after that minute of cooling um, in the 
water. You, you're ready to use it or you can let it um, cool completely um, in a jar. So you saw how easy it was to make this, right? Here we go. This is called nuk mao in Southern Vietnamese or nuk hang in Northern Vietnamese. Three ingredients, super easy. Keep it in your pantry and start rocking the Vietnamese kitchen. Let me know how you use the caramel sauce in different recipes in Evergreen Vietnamese. Tag me, ping me. I want to see what you're cooking up.